Remotely triggering a Bash Bunny's payload, this time on Hack 5. Hey everyone, Glitch here and welcome back to Hack 5. Today we're going to be looking at triggering or not triggering a Bash Bunny payload on your Bash Bunny Mark II using Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE. Now this is a feature that the Bash Bunny Mark II has supported since launch. Uh, however, I haven't seen it used very often, and we do have a little note here in the documentation as to what it is, how it works. Now, first off, let's talk about what Bluetooth Low Energy is. BLE is different than traditional Bluetooth because no handshake is required. Uh, it's simply, a BLE device is simply beaming out packets with a header, a unique ID, and some other information such as a device name, maybe a battery level, and so on. Now. A lot of your devices do this. Uh, if you've got some, you know, to truly wireless earbuds, uh, you know, an Apple Watch or something like that, more than likely, or an AirTag, an AirTag's a great example of a BLE device. Now, any of these things will have a device name, a unique ID, and all of that. Uh, but in the Bash Bunny's DuckyScript implementation, there are two commands, wait for present and wait for not present. Now, these can be used to, as they, the, the commands imply, wait for present, would be waiting to see that device's name. Wait for not present would be waiting to not see that device's name. Now, in the case of wait for present, you could use this to trigger a payload on demand. So let's say you or the janitor you paid five bucks, hypothetically in this pen testing engagement, of course, uh, to go and drop the bash bunny into, I don't know, an executive's system or the IT guy's system or something like that, you might not want that payload to trigger immediately and get them or yourself found out or caught and in the engagement early. Now, in this case, the device would get plugged into the machine and it would simply wait. It would wait till it sees that device name. In this case, I am using the device name test dev. Uh, also, by the way, I'm for this example, I'm using an app called NRF Connect on Android. There's a couple of other better ones on iOS devices. Uh, that allow you to transmit arbitrary device names uh, under BLE. But like I said, you can use this to trigger the payload on command to either avoid detection or wait for uh, the person to walk away or what have you. But on the subject of the person walking away, if you know what device they have on them and what its host name is, maybe you did some recon prior or what have you, uh, like their watch, let's just use that as an example, or their AirPods in their pocket or something like that. You can use that as the trigger so that when they walk away from the device and you have your payload set up to wait for not present, it will then fire the payload. So let's say they walk away from their machine but left it unlocked because they needed to, I don't know, use the bathroom or get a coffee refill or something. It would then fire the payload once they're out of detection range. So now in NRF Connect, I've created a device called Test Dev. If I go in and click Edit, the flag I have is called complete local name, and I have it set to be discoverable and scannable. And then up here, the device, I renamed my phone to test dev for the sake of this demonstration. Uh, in theory, it could be Apple AirPods. It could be uh, anything that you've decided to be your trigger command. So I have the Bash Bunny plugged in with the this payload, the default uh, payload from here. The only thing I've changed is the my Bluetooth device name has been set to test dev. So that when I hit this toggle on my phone, the Bash Bunny is going to sit here and scan and every three to five seconds or so, it's waiting to see test dev. And once it sees it, it will do run.exe, the terminal will pop up and hello world. Now that could have been a uh, exploit dropper. That could have been something that sets up persistence. That could have been, uh, it, I don't know, puts a, a GIF on screen or whatever. Now, if you were to use wait for not present and your trigger device walked away, uh, again, Apple AirPods, anything that you know that that individual carries on them, it would then trigger that same payload or whatever payload you put in. So let me know what you think. In the next video, I plan to build a really cool custom device in order to bring a little bit of cartoonish fun to the way uh, these payloads are triggered. Anyway, I've been Glitch. This has been Hack5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.